It's Reveille. On December 16, 1944, at 0530, German panzer units crossed the front lines in the Ardennes, beginning the epic last offensive for Hitler, and in response, the Allied counteroffensive known as the Battle of the Bulge. On that frigid, snowy morning, First Lieutenant Lyle Bauck, platoon leader of the 394th Intelligence and Reconnaissance Platoon, and the 21 men serving with him, held off the tip of the spear of the initial German advance, a battalion of over 600 men. During a 20-hour-long fight, Bauck's positions were overrun by the Germans four times. More than once, Lieutenant Bauck asked to retreat for his platoon's safety, but was denied. His platoon fought and stood their ground. Before being captured, Bauck's platoon inflicted over 400 casualties and, most importantly, disrupted the entire German 6th Panzer Army's attack long enough for Americans in the rear to begin counterattack measures. His actions that day ensured the eventual defeat of the German final advance in World War II. The Battle of the Bulge would go on for another six weeks. In Bauck's platoon, all but one survived that day, And for the next four months, those captured spent the rest of the time in a POW camp, another harrowing experience. 37 years later, Lieutenant Lyle Bauck and his platoon were recognized as the most decorated platoon of World War II. Americans need to be reminded of these stories of heroism and pass them on to their children. We need heroes and examples of bravery, especially in our soft, pampered society when men are more afraid of social media backlash than standing up to their woke school board. I'm Jeannie Ives, wishing you all a Merry Christmas and peace on earth. Sign up for my newsletter at Breakthrough-Ideas.com. That's Breakthrough-Ideas.com.